Today's episode is all about leaning into our future. And what better way to talk about that than to think about leaning towers? And what is the most leaning tower in the world? Well, that's not an easy question to answer, but let's talk possibilities on today's episode of Life's Potluck Buffet. I'm John Paulus. Thanks for joining me. You are probably familiar with La Torre di Pisa. It is known as a, in Italian, as a torre pendente, a leaning tower. And that tower, a bell tower, is a really famous leaning tower. But it's not the tower that leans the most. It's not really close. It is about 3.97 degrees uh, um, off of the vertical axis of the building. So that's, that's, that's how much the leaning tower leans, if you ever want to know. And this actually has been kind of um, uh, fixed a little bit. And, you know, and this is the thing about leaning towers, is that leaning towers often get, for stabilization purposes, get kind of unleaned. And so that or, or stabilizing elements correct the lean a little bit. So that makes figuring out what the most leaning tower is, because once you've corrected it, does that mean that that no longer counts? Well, let's talk about some leans. So there seems to be a kind of competition going on in Germany among small towns with leaning towers. And the three small towns in question are Gauweinheim, which is in the Rhine, uh, near the Rhine River, Zurhusen, which is up north in Germany near, near um, the border with the Netherlands, the very northernmost part of Germany, and the very most northern most northern part of the Netherlands as well. And also a place called Dausenau. And Dausenau, the reason that these are all in competition is because Guinness is involved in this, the, you know, the Guinness Book of World Records. But the thing about this is that it's a, it's a, it seems to be a very local competition in Germany because, well, the, the, tower that had the Guinness record in 2007 was the tower in um, Zurhusen, and that's the one in the north near the Netherlands and the northern part of Germany. And that actually, in 2022, a German record-keeping organization certified that the one, the tower in um, Gau Weinheim was actually linear, was more tilted than the one in Zurhusen. The one in uh, Dausenau was uh, disqualified because it was determined by the Guinness Book of World Records that its tower was a ruin and not an actual tower. I'm not sure why that matters, but it matters to the Guinness Book of World Records. But really, the most leaning tower in the world is probably not in Germany. There are towers that lean much more than this. Uh, for for example, there's a tower in San Moritz, or San Moritzen, if you speak Romanche, the uh, local Romance language in San Moritz. And the San Moritz's tower, the leaning tower of San Moritz, is... <laughs> actually leans more than any of those German towers. So something funny is going on because that certainly hasn't been certified as the leaningest tower, but why not? Well, that's because of the way certification works, and that's for another episode. And also, certification ignores towers that are, well, even more tilted than the ones in Switzerland and Germany. I don't understand why, say, for example, the Hujuta, which is the a pagoda in, the, um, in Shanghai in, in China, 
that leans at a full 7.10 degrees uh, right now, it seems. It, all these towers, sometimes they start to lean more than they were leaning before. And that's something that's always monitored in these important historical towers because you certainly don't want the lean to get excessive uh, because that could lead to collapse, which has happened. But also, it must be noted that a lot of towers that you don't realize are leaning are leaning. So, for example, the Elizabeth Tower, which you might know as Big Ben after the the bell in the in the clock tower uh, of Westminster, that tower, uh, which used to be known, I think, just as clock tower, uh, that tower, the Elizabeth Tower, named after the um, late queen of England uh, for one of her jubilees, that tower is, is leaning, and it's going to be leaning more in the future. But they estimate now it's going to be 4,000 years before it's in trouble. So... Phew. Okay. Well, if you, someone's listening to this 4,000 years in the future, check that tower. If you're in future London and it's 4,000 years from now, please, the tower that maybe with the clock face on it that makes the that has the kind of big bell in it, please check that because it's, it's, it's about time. And I'm pretty convinced that there are towers that leaned even more than that in recent history, I, more, even, even more than the uh, Huju Ta, the, the Huju Pagoda, um, that, um, for example, the Leaning Tower of Zaragoza in Spain was demolished in the 1890s uh, because they were worried about it collapsing. And that was a big deal. And there was a lot of opposition to this. And in the 1990s, uh, they installed a um, memorial to that tower with a, a little boy looking up at the um, where the tower would be. That's how beloved the Leaning Tower of Zaragoza was, and it was considered an architectural wonder of a particular period of architecture of the Iberian Peninsula. And I, they're looking at old pictures of that tower, boy, that looks like it. It leans more than the uh, pagoda in in Shanghai, the uh, Huju, Huju pagoda. So that that's that's, but that doesn't exist anymore. So it doesn't count. No imaginary formerly existing towers count in the leaning competition. But there are towers that lean more than the Huju Ta. For example, there is a tower in Uma in Odisha, the state of India, that's, and that's, that's on the Bay of Bengal uh, in the, in the um, eastern part of, of India. And that tower, which is part of a temple complex of Shiva, that tower leans 13 degrees. 13 degrees. So I, that's, that, that, is a lot more than the other ones. And it doesn't seem to be in any record books, even though I, I think it probably should be. But the, pro, and the reason might be is that there is not certainty that the tower was built to be vertical. And you see any tower that is built to be purposefully leaning, like the um, Montreal Olympic Stadium Tower, those don't count in the competition of the accidentally tilted, most tilted, leaniest tower in the world. So the Uma Bakra Temple, that might not count because the pinnacle is perpendicular. It's it's plumb. To you know, to to the, the center of the earth. So that means that that means that it you know maybe maybe it was intentional. But I honestly I think it just happened that the the the, the pinnacle must be weighted in a certain way that it stayed plumb while the rest of it shifted. Because honestly, you know, there's I I think there would be more explanations and more 
the stories behind why this was um, leaning, if 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 it were purposefully purposefully leaning, there would be there would be some story, right? So I, I think that this is not an intentional lean, and I think I think that the inspection of the, that area bears that out as as I, I've read reports of 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 it. So. For me, the uh, Uma Temple uh, Leaning Tower is the most leaning in the world, and I'm gonna. That's in my book of records, and well, in the Life's Potluck Buffet book of world records that goes to the Uma uh, Temple Tower in um, India. So let's lean into the Life's Potluck Buffet cards and see what they have to tell us for our future. So here we go. Yellow lemons, blue dumplings. Oops, I just threw the card. That must be inauspicious. I just threw the cards everywhere. Okay. I'll have to just continue where I was. Uh, magenta noodles. Cards. Tell us some things. All right. And here's the top card for today. It's card 49. Inflict your kindness on others, not your traumas. Strive never to use your work as an excuse to hurt others, but instead always to inflict only kindness on them. Think about that today and inflict kindness, and I'll see you tomorrow on Life's Potluck Buffet. (laughs) 